Hey everybody, welcome to TNT Tuesday Night Teaching. Here's a little throwback for your soul. Enjoy this and I'll be back with tonight's teaching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Amazing grace, how sweet the, the sound that Oh, 
safe, so safe, thus far, and that same old grace will lead, Lord Jesus, me. bless you come on in the room come on in the room welcome to what i'm calling tnt come on and get your sword and be sure to follow like share hit that thumbs up button this is tnt power in the middle of the week tuesday night teaching i trust you've had an amazing tuesday and i want you to join me here every tuesday evening at 7 p.m unless i give other wise notice for tnt tuesday night teaching also, join me on YouTube every Wednesday. I'm on live on YouTube Wednesdays at 7, and you can find me on the YouTube channel of New Mountaintop Baptist Church. I want you to join my e-class by sending an email to clearstudies at gmail.com. Well, God bless all of you for joining us. So good to see you. Come on in, share it. Make sure you say hello in the comments. I love you all. Miss you all. Been thinking about you and praying for you. Let's jump into the word for this evening. This evening, I want to speak to you about no more dry places. Somebody ought to type that in the comments. No more dry places. I believe that God is getting ready to launch a season of refreshing in your life. Yes, you. When you've been waiting as long as you have and praying as long as you have, I want you to know you're closer now than you have ever been to your blessing. God bless all of you. It's so good to have you. And that's what we're going to talk about tonight from Psalm 42. If you've got your Bible or your favorite app, come on, let's jump into the word of God. As others come in, say hello to us. I want to talk about no more dry seasons. Is this word for you? Yes, it is. Psalm 42, verse 1. As the heart, which is a deer, panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. I love that verse. You know, thirst is among the most powerful sensations or feelings that we can have as human beings. Somebody type our topic in, no more dry places, Psalm 42. Hunger can be ignored and pushed through, but thirst is different. When our bodies are dehydrated or our mouths will redirect water from our other areas of our body. When our body is dehydrated, our mouth will redirect water from other areas of our body. Why? Because the human body is painfully aware that without water, it cannot survive. In life, we often crave and go after that which we feel will satisfy our deepest longing. The right man, the right woman, the right job, the right car, the right career. Many go after possessions to bring peace. Others go after people to gain prestige. But ultimately, friends, there is nothing that can ever satisfy the gaping hole in our lives that was meant 
to only be fulfilled by the true and living God. And that's where we find the psalm tonight in Psalm 42, verse 1. And we're talking about no more dry places. Now, like all of us, he has a desperate need for God. This psalmist does. The difference between him and most people is that he acknowledged his need for God. In that first verse, he answers the big question of why we need God. Listen to what he says. We're in Psalm 42, 1, talking about no more dry places. As the heart, which is a deer, panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. We learn some powerful lessons from this psalm. Number one, we learn about the pressures of life. The pressures of life. You see, the deer is constantly on the run. And the deer is constantly in danger of an attack. You and I are constantly on the run and we're constantly in danger of an attack from the enemy. And listen, no matter how swift, how strong or even how bold that deer appears to be, there comes a point when he gets tired of running, tired of fighting and he wants to be refreshed. God bless y'all. Welcome on in. Good to have you. He wants to be rehydrated by water. Nothing else will do. And listen to me real good. No matter how swift or how strong you may be, you get tired of running, you get tired of fighting, and nothing else will refresh you but God's very presence. But we see, secondly, the power of the Lord. The text says that the deer desires the water brooks specifically he knows what he wants. The deer knows what it will take to sustain him. And when you find yourself worn down by the pressures of life, listen, you've got to know how to access the power of the Lord. The magnitude of this, this power, the Lord's power is pictured clearly in this one little word, brook. Somebody type that in the comments, the word brook. It's not a pond, it's not a river, it's not a lake, it's not a reservoir, it's not an ocean, but it's just a brook. And do you know what a brook is? The brook is the smallest body of water, but because it is God, it is the most powerful. By definition, a brook is really just a small stream. If you're from the country, you can relate to this, it's a ditch. <laughs> but there's enough rejuvenating power in and around God's presence to sustain you from one place to the next. You know, streams are not stagnant. They flow. They move. Your spiritual life cannot become stagnant. It must flow. It must ebb. It must evolve. It must be pouring into and being poured out of. And when you are exhausted from the cares of life, nothing else will do but the refreshing touch of God. Don't allow your life to become stagnant spiritually. Now that deer pants for water. A pant is a short breath, steam. It's a breathy sound that you can hear the deer make if you're close enough. Life will push you and wear you out. But how do you know when you need God's refreshing? It's when the sound coming from your mouth begins to shift from what it should be to something it shouldn't be. That pant. It's whenever you begin to speak negatively out of your mouth, that lets you know when you're speaking doubt and negativity, baby, you're dry. You're dusty. You need the refreshing power of the Lord. Anybody on this live right now that can testify, I need the power of the Lord. We're talking about no more dry places. This is TNT, Tuesday night teaching. And we're in Psalm 42. If you missed the first part, make sure you catch the replay and like, share, give it a thumbs up. But thirdly, we see the presence of the Lord. He says, oh God, he wants God's presence in his life more than anything else. I don't know about you, family, but the more I age, the more I mature, the more I recognize it's him that I need, 
It's in him that I live and I move and I have my being. Anybody on here want more of the presence of the Lord? Learn how to lift your hands in your car. Just one hand, but lift your hands sometime and just say, God, thank you because you're here with me. Learn how to worship him at the house. Learn how to get on your knees again and lay before the Lord and turn the plate down and fast and pray and get into the presence of the Lord. That is the place where you will discover the end of your dry places. <laughs> That's Psalm 42, verse number one. I want you to know God wants to touch you in your dry places. If your family is dry, there's a touch for you. If your home life, your work life, your finances, your romance, whatever it is, God has a touch for your life and you don't have to stay dry. You can be refreshed and rehydrated by the power, the presence, and the perfect will of God for your life. It's in his word. I dare you to seek him even now. Worship him right there where you are. Give him glory. Don't be afraid and ashamed to praise him. Don't let not being in your sanctuary stop you from becoming the sanctuary. And let his word come out of your mouth. Let his worship come out of your mouth. That is what ends your dry place. Hey, I'm not going to hold you long. This is TNT Power for your week. Tuesday night teaching with Bishop Littman. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you drop your prayer requests in the comments. I love you so much. Hey, join me Wednesday, 7 p.m. YouTube Live on the channel of New Mountaintop Baptist Church on YouTube. I love y'all. Can't wait to see you there. God bless you. I believe with everything within me that every believer wants to grow in their study of God's word. There's so many obstacles, however, that can present themselves that keep us from really studying like we should. There are time factors. And then sometimes there is just the lack of simplicity when it comes to reading or even being taught the Word of God. That's why I created a platform called Clear Studies. What is Clear Studies? Clear Studies is a platform where you are a part of an e-class and each week I send you a link to a 15 minute podcast and a 15 minute video. That way, whether you're an auditory or visual learner, you're covered on both ends. The podcast is something that you can download to your device and listen to it when you get ready, when you have time to do so. It may be midnight, it may be three in the morning, it may be during your lunch break. But to accompany the teaching, each week you also will get a colorful PDF handout that is virtually a transcript of the teaching. So you won't miss a single word that I have said in the video or in the podcast. But beyond that, it comes with discussion questions that are simple yet provocative that will enable you to think your way through that passage and apply it to your everyday life. It's something that you can share with your family, with your friends. You can even create your own discussion group about each week's lesson. I want you to be a part of my e-class. I want you to grow in the study of God's word. I don't want you to miss out on what God is doing and on this divine opportunity to grow, to study, and to learn with others. There'll never be an embarrassing moment where you're asking a question in front of the group or where you put on the spot. It's just like it's just me talking to you and then God talking to you while you're studying on your own. If there's ever a question, you can always email me. Why don't you join right now? Clearstudies at gmail.com. Just send an email and say, sign me up, and we will add you to the e-class. And you can join scores of other people around the nation who are being blessed by these brief but impactful teachings.